this is a declassified um, uh, CIA uh, document on um, uh, assassinate. It's a CIA study on assassinations. And I mean, a lot of the passages do when you look at the, the history of political assassinations in, this, in, the, in the US kind of have a very eerie quality. So it states, um, uh, the, uh, if the assassin is to die with their target, the act will be called lost. If the assassin is to escape, the adjective will be safe. Uh, the assassin must not fall into enemy hands one way or another. Uh, and it states, yes, in safe assassinations, the assassin needs the usual qualities of a clandestine agent. He should be determined, courageous, intelligent, resourceful, and physically active. If special equipment is to be used, such as firearms or drugs, it is clear that he must have outstanding skill with such equipment. Um, yeah, uh, like, <laughs> in lost assassinations, the assassin must be a fanatic of some sort. Politi politics, religion, and revenge are about the only feasible motives. Since a fanatic is unstable psychologically, he must be handled with extreme care. He must not know the identities of the other members of the organization, for though it is intended that he die in the act, something may go wrong. While the assassin Trotsky, Tr Trotsky has never revealed any significant information, it was unsound to depend on this when the act was planned. Now, like... Yeah, that really, really, really like there's some it kind of sends a chill down your spine actually. Um, like like reading that and then looking at like what happened to prior um uh the, the pres presidential assassins or failed presidential assassins. Um many uh were of the quote unquote lost variety um and were framed as like political fanatics and lunatics. Um, uh, there was Sirhan Sirhan, who allegedly um, tried to assass uh, assassinate Robert F. Kennedy, um, and he has no memory of the uh, of the incident. And it took like hypnosis and, and heavy drugs to, to get him to admit that he did it. Um, so, like, yeah, again, um, I, I I do think that um, even though there's no indication as yet that this that, that Trump's failed assassin was um, working for anyone or encouraged by anyone. It is important to bear in mind that the CIA ha runs so many agents um, uh, at any one time, and the FBI as well is involved in, in encouraging people and, and facilitating and funding people to commit terrorism so they can bust it. Um, it the, the, the potential that he may have somehow Trump's assassin, I mean, have been radicalized or directed can't be taken off the table. And I, I think I made this point in the show before, but there are records of um, the, the classified CIA records of people in West Germany who they funded to go out to go and carry out sabotage and other um, and, and stage protests in East Germany. And it, they explicitly note in their uh, uh, appraisal of the, of the of this operation, the CIA, they, it states that well, these people actually went a lot further than we were expecting and directed them to, because and they've carried on causing havoc even after our funding direct funding for that has stopped. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, you know, to your point of uh, uh, of assassins being lost, I mean, look at what happened to Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we're, I don't think we'll, I mean, this is a story where we could either know a lot in the next few days or yeah. never know much more than what we know now, I think. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.